Yo, I'm Cubed and today we're gonna talk about the best puzzles of the year. We're at the end of the year right now, which means that just like any other year, we at the Cubicle are gonna take a look at the best puzzles of the moment. The puzzles that we think are worth buying the most as of now. 2021 has been a pretty crazy year, but as of recent, records are being broken again. We have a lot of new technologies, so let's just get straight into it, shall we? All right, so that was Cubehead. If you guys are familiar with him or enjoy his content, which I'm sure you do, make sure to stay around because he's gonna make another appearance near the end of the video. But let's get into the puzzles. Let's start off with Clock. If you guys are familiar with the event or have competed in it recently, you'll know that the Chi Clock has basically revolutionized the event. It was one of the first magnetized clocks that came out. It was preceded by the Sheng Shao clock, but that's a really inferior puzzle. The Qi Yi clock is what you're looking for if you want to get serious about the event. Everything works well on it and everything just fits really nicely. It holds a lot of records. Get the Qi Yi clock if you're looking for a clock. So for square one, we decided to go with the MGC Fully Magnetic Square One. We chose this for a couple reasons. One, because it's innovative. It has a multi-track design, which is super innovative. It's never been seen before in square one design, and it adds some stability to what is really an unstable event. But that's one of the reasons. Another reason is it recently broke the square one world record average. Uh, Samir Agarwal got a 6.06 .06 average with it, which is really impressive. And I spoke with Ro about this puzzle and he said that most of the top solvers are using it now. So if you're looking for a square one, MGC Fully Magnetic. So when it comes to Scube, there were a few different options we could pick from, but one of the main outliers was the GAN Enhanced Scube. Now this was the first Scube to feature corner core magnets. So this is another unstable event. If you guys have ever dealt with turning a skew, you know that a lot of it turns whenever you turn a single piece. So stability is pretty key and the corner core magnets definitely add something to that. And it recently just broke the average world record. Carter Kukala just got a 1.86 average on this, which is crazy fast. So good work, Carter. And that's one of the reasons that this is our top pick for the best skew of 2021. Hey guys, it's Jesse or JR Cuber, and now we're going to be moving on to Pure Minx. So for Pure Minx, we have three selections, the main one being Steven's Little Magic M. And this is a premium cube. This is only available at the cubicle, uh, but the reason we're including it on this list is because it's honestly just so much better than everything else out there. So this is basically a modified version of the Yushin Little Magic Pyraminx. Uh, this is made by our good friend Stephen Wittringham who works here. Shout out Stephen the GOAT. This is the world record Pyraminx. So this is the cube that Timon used to set his 183 world record average. And overall we just feel like this is pretty much one of the best Pyraminxes you can get. Another one we highly recommend is just the base model Yushin Little Magic. Uh, this one doesn't have the modifications that makes this one so great, but it's still really, really good and it's super cheap, so this is a great value puzzle. And also, if money isn't as much of a concern for you, then definitely check out the Gan Pyraminx. This one also performs incredibly well. It's just a lot more pricey, but it does have more premium features. So if you're looking for things like GES nuts or more magnets, so this has the, uh, the Edge Core magnets, if you're looking for things like that, definitely check out the Gan Pyraminx. All right, so now moving on to Mega Minx, our top pick is the YJ Yuhu V2. This isn't the world record cube, uh, but it is a community favorite, definitely my favorite. And it also just has a great price to performance ratio. This is a incredibly well-performing Mega Minx and it only costs $13. And this is just a great Mega Minx. It's super light and fast, stable. I'm personally a big fan of the circular tracks. I think that the cube has a very, very nice grip without the grip feature kind of getting in the way being too obvious. Overall, it's just very, very impressive how a 
budget Mega Minx can be this good. I mean, this is just an incredible Mega Minx. Our second pick for Mega Minx is going to be the Dian Mega Minx V2. So definitely look into this one if you want a smaller Mega Minx. This one is considerably smaller. Also, if you think that the ridges on this or the ridges on some other Mega Minxes are a little too much, you might want to check this one out. This one sort of has ridges, but they're very, very subtle. But the grip is actually really good, especially because the cube is so light and small. So yeah, the Yoohoo has a better price to performance ratio. The Dian Mega Minx is smaller, so up to you. But overall, our favorite is the Yoohoo V2. All right, so now we are gonna be moving on to the N by N puzzles, starting with five by five, six by six, and seven by seven. And we're kind of grouping them all together because our picks are all from the YJMGC line. So while none of these cubes came out this year specifically, these are still pretty much the best big cubes you can get. They are definitely favorites in the communities and definitely my favorites as well. And the reason why is because all of the MGC big cubes have very similar performance and also great prices. The five by five, $19, the six by six, $24, and the 7x7, $31. I mean, there's a lot of 3x3s that are more than $31. So while there definitely are other great big cubes out there, these are still pretty much the best and they're cheaper than a lot of the competition. So there's really just no other big cubes out there that can challenge the value proposition that the MGC cubes offer. And yeah, these cubes really have great performance. They all have a very kind of plush bubbly feel and they're just all very consistent. So really not many pops, just overall really, really reliable cubes, which is something that's incredibly important for big cubes, which is where popping is most common. So yeah, none of these cubes are from this year. The five and six are from 2019 and the seven is from 2020, but these puzzles have really stood the test of time. They are still at the top of the list for best big cubes. Hey everyone, now we're going to talk about 4x4. So competitive 4x4 really hasn't changed over the recent years. We have two models that really stand out that stood out to us last year, and that's the MGC 4x4 and the Aosu WRM. So these two 4x4s probably account for a huge majority of competitive 4x4 solvers mains. The MGC is a little bit larger. It has a very quick tactile feel and you can lube it to make it a little bit smoother. The Aosu WRM is considered a smaller cube at 59 millimeters. It's very compact, really easy to hold and turn. And both of these cubes have given people lots of really good results and are both endorsed by professionals. Let's talk about some 2x2. So it's really hard not to pick the Vault 2 as the best 2x2 on the market. I mean, it set that 106 average, and just when we thought it couldn't be beat, Zane was like, okay, let me show you a 105. <laughs> Everything was done on this Vault 2, and that just makes it a really competitive, really high quality cube. The problem is this cube is really hard to find. It's like halfway discontinued, and it's really hard to get clarity on whether it's going to be, you know, out there for purchase again, or it's just, maybe it's never gonna see the light of day. So as alternatives, we have two choices that receive honorable mentions the GAN251 and the MGC Elite. So these two cubes are really good for different reasons. The MGC Elite is very substantial, very solid and reliable. It has a really smooth turn and it just, you know, an all around feel good cube. And the GAN251 is loaded with a bunch of really cool features and it's slightly larger and has a very light feel. And I think both of these cubes are sure to give you really good performance in the two x two category. Yo, it's your boy Cubet again. I'm gonna talk about what we think are the best 3x3 puzzles you can buy at this moment. We included a few puzzles in this category because there's different puzzles at different price points that we think are definitely worth buying. First on the list, we have the budget cube and we chose the RS. For $9, you get unbeatable performance and it is extremely upgradable. Because of the insane value you get, till this day it is still a community favorite. I mean, I like it so much that I even decided to make the YoCube Eco the RS3M. And even the 2021 release, the Maglev version, we think is awesome. Second on the list, we have the mid tier option and we went for the WRM 2021. This cube, once again, has insane value and with that, you get all the customization options. You have adjustable magnets, dual adjustment system, and you have insane performance. All of that for just $23, which is actually an insane value. It's really nice to see how Moyu is really pushing to bring flagship cubes for a lower price. So yeah, it's a great value cube loaded with features. And once again, it is the Yo Cube. 
coincidence? I think not! The highest tier option, this is the queue for people who are loaded with money. We have the GAN 11M Pro. Why not the 12? Well, we feel that the feedback we got from the 11M Pro was way more consistent than we got from the 12M Pro, which is still a good queue, but we feel more comfortable recommending the 11M Pro to you guys. It's also the queue that Max Park used for the world record average. I mean, that says something, right? For $55, you get a cube that pretty much has anything. You have core magnets, you have all the adjustment options that one would need, and you just have a light, high-performance cube. And it is so enjoyable to turn, guys. So, yeah, that's it. No, that's not it. We also have... <laughs> We also have one honorable mention and that is the Tornado V2. We got such amazing feedback from the community that we needed to include this one. Once again, for $25, you get a cube that pretty much has anything. You have a dual adjustment system, you have adjustable magnets and a great performing cube. Super satisfying to turn, super silent. The only issue that I have with it is that the small cuts feel kind of harsh. But aside from that, it's a great cube. So these were all the puzzles that we at the Cubicle think were the best to buy this year. All of the puzzles are linked in the description. You know what discount code to use? It's obviously JR Cuber. And I will catch you guys in the next... No, you're not gonna catch me in the next Cubicle video, but... I will... You will... Ciao.